Miss Nelson is Missing by Harry Allard and James Marshall. The kids in room 207 were misbehaving again. Spitballs talked to the ceiling. Paper planes was through the air. They were the worst behaved class in the whole school. Now sit down, said Miss Nelson in a sweet voice, but the class would not settle down. They whispered and giggled. They squirmed and they made faces. They were even rude during story hour, and they always refused to do their lessons. Something will have to be done, said Miss Nelson. The next morning, Miss Nelson did not come to school. Wow! yelled the kids. Now we can really act up! They began to make more spitballs and paper planes. Today, Today let's be terrible! They said, Not so fast! Hiss an unpleasant voice. A woman in an ugly black dress stood before them. I am your teacher, Miss Viola Swamp. And she wrapped the dress with the ruler. Where is Miss Nelson? asked the kids. Never mind that. Stat Miss Swamp. Open those arithmetic books. Miss Nelson's kids did as they were told. They could see that Miss Swamp was a real witch. She meant business. Right away she put them to work and she loaded them down with homework. We'll have no story hour today, said Miss Swamp. Keep your mouth shut, said Miss Swamp. Sit perfectly still, said Miss Swamp. And if you misbehave, you'll be sorry, said Miss Swamp. Days went by, and there were no sign of Miss Nelson. The kids missed Miss Nelson. Maybe we should try to find her, they said. Some of them went to the police. But Detective Nick Swamp was assigned to the case. He listened to their story. He scratched his chin. Hmm, he said. Hmm. I think Miss Nelson is missing. Detective Miss Mom could not be able to help. Other kids went to Miss Nelson's house. The shades were tightly drawn.